Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Planet Zoo. Welcome back to my Jungle Zoo. This will be episode 7 in the series. And today we are going to continue working on this llama exhibit. There's a few more things we need to do for it. And uh, then we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and start. We want to come in here and we want to filter by llamas. Uh, llama. Okay, and then we need to get food and water. Get a medium. Uh, let's go ahead and put a large trough in over here. Let's do that, and then we can get. We'll hide a permanent source of water underneath here, so that we know that we have another one. Yeah, we've got. Geez, the animals are. One of our other exhibits is struggling right now, and we don't really have any way of fixing that but let's go ahead and get these guys some beds we're going to put them it's going to hide them right underneath here or you know what we could do no well here we're going to put a shelter underneath here like this Just to kind of extend it a little bit and we'll put it half underneath and half not. So then we can come in here with large bedding. Get that in here. So if they want to escape, they can. But if they don't, people could be able to see them from here. So that would be good too. Okay, so that is that part. Then let's see if we have any enrichment. Not really all that much yet. So we can just get a couple of these herb scent markers. All right, so we had a new inspector report come. Let's see what that says. Yeah, we paid fine. But overall, that is in okay shape. Now, uh, off camera, you might have noticed I built a little... Uh, uh, roof here for that. That was pretty simple. I want to check real quick to see... Can we be mixed with anything? No, not really. I mean, we could, but we don't get any enrichment out of it. So we're just going to let a large lava pack develop, I think. Um, I don't know that we hired any staff for this group, though. Let's come here, staff. This is all still one work zone. Did we add that into the work zone? We did. Okay, so we're going to add... Right now we have two keepers and three exhibits. Let's go ahead and add another keeper. Pause the game and get them added to that. Let's add another caretaker too. So what is their role? Let's come in here... You're really just cleaning things up and transporting. Your workload isn't all that well. No, high workload. Okay, we'll add another caretaker. Okay, so you are going to be on that entrance area as well. And as are you. Entrance work area. Should help them. We probably should add another staff room somewhere. I'm wondering if we can fit it back in here. I doubt it. Now that I'm looking at that, I really doubt that we can fit one in there. We might be able to fit a larger one in here. Where do we have a staff room? Here. Yeah, we could just put a larger one up here. Facilities. Not keeper hut, my staff room. We just want... I guess we just want to do a small one. I don't see a larger one here. Huh. Alright, well... Add 
I went in here. Right there. Take that wall out and just duplicate this one. Yeah, that works. And then we can come in here and just add the path. Staff path. Uh, here comes this. Bring it out like that. Form like that. And that works. So now we have another staff room in there. Let's go ahead and add that to here. So we now have two staff rooms to choose from, which should help a bit. And I apologize for how dark it is, but that is kind of what happens when it is raining. Now we've had, what had cleanliness is a risk, yeah. Ooh, that is really, really messy. So we should, the keeper should come here and clean. Maybe that's because they've been overloaded. How is our finance situation? I think we probably could afford another staff. So we have three keepers, one for each habitat right now. But we have three different types of, like we have a lot of animals in there. And these guys have high worth loads. Let's go ahead and add another. You're going to be on that entrance as well. Hopefully that will work. I'm going to have a little coffee here while we wait. Oh, these two are doing something. Maybe getting ready to fight or something. That's fine. Now we have our llamas are mating. We have four llamas. They've mated. We have our tortoises have mated. In fact, if you come here, you can see we have several here. In fact, this is a, a baby that we did not. Yeah, here. View genealogy. These two are in ours. In our zoo. These two, Tozy is not that great anymore. They're not very fertile, but Tenok is. And in fact, we could come in here and get Tenok a female tapir. This one is not very fertile either. I will leave that out. We'll just kind of replace some of them as they need to be replaced. Now our llama exhibit, how how many can they have in there? Up to 30. So they could really they could really fill this out nicely. That would be good. Same with the tortoises. And do they have everything they need, by the way? Yeah. Terrain is good. Shelter is good. They don't really care for some of these plants, but that's too bad for them. Okay, so that'll be fine. No, we still have a few issues there. So, I mean, we've got all of these animals are sick. And there isn't really much we can do about that yet because we don't really know much about the disease and we have a vet trying to research it but we also only have one vet so that's an issue uh now at some point off camera i will decorate that little building there but in the meantime i think what we can do is add some more guest facilities in here 
Let's go ahead and come here, guest. We want theme South America. Very good. We've got a shop. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. We could get a double shop in there. Oh, it's a toilet. Yeah, let's go ahead with this. Get that right here. Actually, we'll bring it in a tiny bit, maybe. See how that looks. Uh, the guests kind of cut into that then. Yeah, let's bring it out this way. See if it places there. It did. Very good. Okay, paths. Guest path. Where is that one? Here we go. Rustic path. Oh, we don't have anything in there. Okay. So what are we going to put there? Facilities. Uh, clear the filter. And we want a merchandise. Can we get one in there? Looney balloons. We could get one of those in. Yeah, I want to add to that. And get you in there. Why aren't you going in there? Why don't you want to be in this building of mine? Here we go. Okay, this one can go in. And then we'll get a food stall, maybe? The zoo entrance. Okay. Let's get a gulpy soda here. There we go. And I do want to... Uh, I feel like we need to edit this. Just delete this side here. And... I uh, don't know. Leave that there. But move all of that over ever so slightly. It's on the inside there. This too. That's going to be a little more tricky there. of that movement. Maybe we can just move this one. There we go. Okay, so that's on that side. And I think that'll look fine. Kind of have it open, but free up the space for the path there. And we'll just leave the other side alone. I won't bother with the detail there, but that gives gets more guests out this way. So that is good. Oh, somebody lost the balloon. All right, now we have another inspector coming soon. And the really big issue is this in here. Let's check cleanliness now. Habitat cleanliness. They're not too bad. They're getting better. That one's pretty clean. For the most part, it isn't too bad. Shelter. They all have shelter. They are feeling good about that traversable area. Okay. Yep, sorry. I was just playing around there. So let's see what else we could do. I think we extend this further now. This path can come down further. Let's go ahead and select here and just... This is our main path, and I want it to go pretty far in. And then we'll have a really uh, nice big temple at the end. But in the meantime, we'll get these habitats off to the side. And that's kind of the idea for the zoo. 
because uh, normally I like to do a loop, but I feel like with this terrain, it's not going to work very well. So we'll just have one long path that goes way down that way and have a temple or maybe even put the temple here. I'm not sure, but we do have space now that we can extend it down this way and we'll get some more animals, I think. So what could we put in this space here? Let's see what is available. We don't, there isn't really anything else that needs to be, um, any more animals for South America, except for the Jaguar. And I want to save that for a little bit later, but we could get maybe like zebras and giraffes in this area like a little African exhibit there. Some pretty big space and that might work. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So we're going to come in here and we're going to find uh, where, what am I looking for? African elephant. Oh, that doesn't intermix. Okay, but I can bring up well, one of the other things. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll bring a path back, say this way, and we'll get some staff buildings back there. So we'll extend this further. Like this. And I wish I could copy and just like do larger segments, but in order to be on the grid, we have to, whoops. And now that we are going down the hill, that is going to be a problem. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? This could be sips wide, maybe. See, but the problem is I want to be on that grid. But now it's hard to... with the hill. Let's take this out and maybe level the tree, or maybe this is where we put the temple, I guess. But I feel like I want the temple here. The trouble is that we go downhill. And I can't keep the grid while going downhill. Could flatten the terrain. Real, uh, let's try this. See what happens if I do that. If we select this. Yeah, I mean that is going to elevate it. But that might be okay. I mean, we're going to maybe, maybe not. Now we have this terrain that's up here. There's like a land bridge. And maybe that's good for the temple. Well, let's just do it. We're going to keep going here. Okay, so that'll be as far as we take that for now. But what I'm thinking is we bring a staff path back here and we have a new set of staff buildings back here. So we come off this way. Now it's getting dark again. Oh, mechanic research complete. That's good. Whatever they were researching. Classic theme. Let's get them on other stuff now too. New world. Okay, paths. We were trying to work on this. Yeah, just bring this back and this is too wide. It's not what I wanted. We want a narrow one coming off like this. Let's 
bring that right back like this. There. And then, yeah, we're going to level the terrain down here. Flatten to foundation. Uh, we want short grass here. Actually, we'll do soil, light soil. And of course, I was on the wrong tool. So we'll get this flattened out here. Like that, and that should give us some space for our uh, staff facilities here. Okay, then we could come in and we want to do staff facilities. We're gonna need to keep your hutch back in here, but I want, first of all, a staff room. Just get that like in here, I guess. Actually, we'll put it over here because we're going to have other stuff hidden behind there, like water and stuff like that. We'll get another research center back here, too. I just want this to be like a little village. And then mechanics workshop. Get that over here. And I guess we'll get a surgery in here, too. Uh, yeah, we'll get that in there. Doesn't want to be placed there. We'll get it over this way, then. Like that. Okay. So now we've spent quite a bit of money on this. And that is where we're going to leave it. So thanks for watching today, and I will catch you next time. Take care.